everyone. Welcome to join our course of free public webinar again. This is Chess. We are glad to invite Dr. Abro from ELAC to talk about the indication in endontics. By the way, this course of free public webinar will prepare a certificate for dentists who join our course. The first step, follow and like course of pay. And the second step, leave your comment or question below the live video. At the end of the live, we will share the phone link to the comment below the live video. Please open the link and fill the phone and submit to apply for the certificate. After three steps, in Friday, you will receive PDF form of certificate in your email. And please note, the form application can be free only one time and will be available for only five hours after the lecture. Five hours later, the application channel will be closed. After that time, we will not accept any application. Please fill on the phone action, especially after the webinar. The phone can not be verifiable. And please make sure the information you let are correct. Okay, now we invite our inclusive ELAC distributor, Shiley Dental, to introduce the company. If ELAC dentists are interested in our products, please contact our distributor, Shiley Dental. Hello. Hello, everyone. Dr. Uh, this is Dr. Abdullah from Abel from Iraq. I'm going to explain about the company profile, about COXO, about Shiny Dent, and give you a general overview of the company so you get more familiar with the, with the products we have. So uh, let's go straight to the point, as I just mentioned. First, we'll talk about the company profile, about Shiny Dent. If you are living in Iraq, I'm pretty sure you've heard about Shiny Dent. It's a very well-known company that's uh, been uh, there since 2013. So, Shiny Dent was established uh, December, the 17th of December, 2013. Uh, it's one of the biggest dental companies available in, uh, in Kurdistan region and Iraq in general. The goal of the company is to make every den in general dentistry and dental supplies as shiny as possible. When we say shiny, we mean the highest quality as possible, the most as elegant as possible. So the location of the company is in Erbil, Iraq. Uh, it's a, it has a very uh, it's a large office in one of the commercial areas in Erbil. We chose Erbil to be the center because it's uh, safe, reliable, and has a very high market. So. In 2013, we started with one main office, a single a single office that was in Doctor Street. But then, with time, due to uh, our success, due to uh, expansion, now Shiny Dent has four branches: in Erbil, Briety, Slim, Manual, or there is a wholesale branch, and as I previously mentioned, the Doctor Street branch. So it's a company that, since its the establishment, has been succeeding and developing step by step, which caused it to expand and provide more products. Not only that, not only these four places that were mentioned, Shiny Dent has many sub-distributors all over Iraq, Kirkuk, Baghdad, Diyala, and all other places. So if you want any product that's available in Shiny Dent, we can get it to you any place you are in Iraq. So what do we have? We do have uh, dental materials, equipments, implants, instruments. Yani we, st we have the small things and we have big uh, things such as dental chairs. So we sell everything that's dentistry related. Uh, the sources of these international companies, uh, China, South Korea, Lithuania, Turkey, Germany, Slovenia, Spain, and others. And we are exclusive agents of many uh, international well-known brands, Ufit, Gigan, and especially Coxa, which I'm going to talk about soon. Sorry if I'm talking a bit too fast, uh, like there are 30 slides, so I want to finish as soon as possible to give time for Dr. Abarbaida to provide a seminar. When you enter Shiny Dent, you can see uh, a wide variety of uh, materials. And as you can see in here, the, the shelf, this is the variety branch. 
uh, the, we have a, a lot of uh, products in all branches of dentistry. Among these international brands and uh, known agents, we have Coxo. So Coxo is the pride of shiny dent. It's the most com known, most uh, requested uh, uh, brand in the shiny dent items. So that's why we are the exclusive agent of Coxo in Iraq. And when you come to Shiny Dent's office, you will see Coxo has an entire, it has taken an entire wall of shelf material and they have materials. And uh, we provide many different devices and products from Coxo company. As you see, the, we, I think if I say, uh, if I be direct, Coxo has one of the, you know, the biggest showroom in uh, Shiny Dent company. As I just mentioned earlier, we're, other than sub distributors, for example, as I said, the main offices in Nabil, we have in Slim and other places as well. We have sub distributors everywhere in Iraq, from Zaho to Basra. But other than that, we can get to you if we, uh, if not physically. For example, we have phone contact, we have online support. You can order Shiny Dents and Coxos materials online uh, through our uh, uh, social media and web pages, and we'll get to you and we'll get to you as soon as possible. So what are the Coxo products we provide? As I've mentioned earlier, Coxo is not a small company. It's a very known and very big company, and they provide a wide variety of products. From these, we have dental handpieces, many models, high-speed handpieces and low-speed, all with different shapes and sizes to provide a dentist um, with what he or she needs. As you can see here, we have different shapes, different sizes, different properties. Uh, an, an example, another example of one of the products is the airbrush system. The, one of the points of this airbrush system, they can be used not for a single uh, purpose, for, for example, polishing. They, they are used for different purposes based on, because Coxo's airbrush system allows you to put different size uh, particles. For example, to remove uh, adherent, uh, for example, on the treated surfaces, stubborn adherents, you can use alumina particles the size of 90. If you want to use it uh, to for bonding preparations on metal, non-metal surfaces, you can use, use the size of 50. And for polishing, you can use the 27. Cox's airbrush system allows you, uh, gives you a wide variety of uh, work space. So you can work it for polishing or um, other points that I've mentioned earlier. The hand pieces. We are not only, we don't only focus on the function. We even focus on the aesthetics in Coxo. So what we have, we have different variety of colors. Uh, special some of the, the we have beautiful clinics here in Abel and uh, they all have a single color scheme and our Coxo hand pieces can match that color scheme of your clinic. If you have a black color scheme, you have the black Coxo hand piece. The point other than that, when we talk about function, for example, we have it's if you know one of the most known hand pieces in Iraq is the Coxo hand piece. It, ha it has long a long half life. Uh, it has uh, Self luminous, you know, there are three and three ways air sprays, so it provides you long half life, wear resistance, efficient operation, um, even cooling system. Even the push of the button is simple, uh, it's easy to be pushed. So, um, they even passed, and when you talk uh, about the quality of the product, they even passed the Germans' uh, dynamic balance machine test. So, quality wise, one at the top, uh, and aesthetic wise, as I mentioned. We have a wide variety of options. And the bearing of which, as I mentioned, is ceramic. So it's the number one in China. And uh, all uh, it's actually like that in Iraq as well. So what we distribute, we have Apex locators and Indom motor. They are some of, these are some of the products of Coxo. And more details of those will be mentioned by uh, later by the, by the doctor. So we have Apex locator that's wireless split to allow mobility, to allow ease of work, uh, to not cause uh, disruption in the work during your clinical practice. We have the Apex lo locators, we have different models, all with different properties. Each dentist can choose his preference, which Apex locator does he or she want. Based on the properties that we provide in our Coxo Apex locators, they can use the one that fit them the most. We have obturation systems. 
as well. Uh, these arbitration systems with the CIFL Mini from Coxo, uh, they provide compact, modern appearance as well as comfortable grip. And uh, you can adjust the temperature from 150 Celsius all the way up to 230. The G type can reach it in 15 seconds, and the P type can reach the 200 Celsius in 0 0.5 seconds. So it's modern, good looking, and uh, uh, very efficient. And now we even have the Coxus plant machine, implant machines, for example, the dentin implant with uh, the motor with the handpiece and LED, and the uh, other model with the uh, handpiece, they allow maximum speed of 50,000 RPMs, uh, maximum torque of 55 Newton uh, centimeters, big LED display to provide you with all the requested data for you, so you can know where your implants placement, how, what's the pressure, what's the torque, what's the RPM, it gives you to uh, allow you best results from your implants. And they allow 10 kinds of reduction and contra and angle of the truth, so you can change the, ang the angle as well. We have electrical motors from Coxo, C Puma, Master, and M Plus. These electrical motors can be used for both electrical handpiece and motor uh, indo handpiece, as I, you can see here, with handpiece for indo or motor, as mentioned here, C Puma. And the details of which will be mentioned soon by the Parabola Radar. The curing lights, we have many models. And you might wonder, like, it's a curing light. Why would you have so many models? Because in Coxo, you have to adopt to the need of the dentist. Some dentists, uh, based on their practice, every practice, every branch has its own needs. And for a, a person, for a company to accommodate all these needs, it must, ha it must have many models of the same product each with different properties, each with different sizes, with different characteristics. So, for example, one of our curing lights is, um, it has light cure and cares detection. So it's two in one, wide spectrum for photosensitive resin models, materials, 10 millimeter diameter. So when you have a large diameter of, uh, of light emission, you can cover a large space of your composite, of your filling. And we have eight millimeter deep curing depth. So not only do you have width, you have depth. So you can cover a large area. At the same time, you can cure bones that are uh, resin material that are deeper. All of that with the body by diameter being only 30 millimeters. So, so it's smart, modern looking, uh, and very efficient. We have the dental light. As I mentioned earlier, from Coxo and shiny dent in general, we have a wide variety of products. A, a single product has a wide variety of models, including the light itself. We have different sizes, shapes, and properties of the lights with the different uh, LED properties, different reflection properties, different handling, sensor, sensors, and others. All of these can be found in the Shiny Dance company in the branch of uh, Coxo. This, as I mentioned, is not a small company, so we have a lot of products. It can cover most of your clinical needs in your own in your clinic, from teeth uh, whitening, from bleaching to ultrasonic activators to microscopes to amalgamators. You have everything. You even even got the pica cutters. Uh, small explanation about the microscope from Coxo. It has double uh, handle angle, so it's adjustable. It allows you movement. Uh, it's a wide angle eyepiece suitable for even operating with glasses if you have if you're wearing glasses five gear magnification and it has a wide zoom range objective so pro provides ease of motion accessibility high efficiency and simplistic looking um, design so as you if you, as I mentioned earlier, if you are living in Iraq, if you're a dentist, you have heard about Coxo and you're going with them step by step. So wait for us because we are providing you with new products. These products, uh, such as the section, the, the uh, torque implants and the other will be talked about by uh, our present representatives later. But what we want to mention that Coxo's still introducing new products into the market, which allows the dentistry in Iraq to develop. Uh, from uh, from basic known products, but with different properties and more advanced techniques, all the way to new products that have not been introduced in the market yet. For example, we have the root canal irrigation and suction system, uh, which is going to be explained. 
and the uh, torque implant. So, not shiny dent is not only about selling. We're not only selling products and leaving them at the in the clinic. We are a very known, a very known brand of a company. So we have to have our own service and maintenance, and we do provide that at Shiny Dent. So, for all Coxa products, from or from your lights, from your dental chairs, all the way down to your irrigators, to your ultrasonic activators, we provide service and maintenance all all around there, which gives us the best customer support. So we uh, guarantee we're not only there to sell for you, we are there to stay with you all the way through your journey in your clinical practice. So in 2022, as you all know, by May, 5th and 6th of May, we have Erbil International Dental Meeting, which is the biggest ev dental event in Kurdistan or Iraq with more than 1,000 to 2, up to 2,000 participants. We expect actually more than 2,000 participants. Uh, which is organized by the herbal branch of the Kurdistan Dental Association. The Shiny Dent is the golden sponsor of IDM, one of the golden sponsors. They have their own sp special booth, which has been put in a very strategic location. They will provide all the Coxa products there, the ones we have I've just mentioned, and the new products that we are going to talk about. They're all provided in Shiny Dent's booth in EIDM 2022. So you must not miss that chance and you must attend the conference and we hope to see you there. And thank you. If you have any question concerning this seminar, if you have any question concerning core Coxa products, you're free to talk, to ask. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you, Shiny Dan. If elect like dentists are interested in our Coxa products, please compare our distributor, Shiny Dan. Okay, now it's time for our webinar today. Hello, Dr. Agoro. Hello, 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 how are you? Yes, I'm Good. fine. Okay, thank you, Dr. Agoro. Take time to you. share your good experience for our dentist friend. Thank you, thank you, take care. Okay, remind that our dentist friend need to okay, come on share. your video. I'll share my ear during the course, then can have a chance to get our gift. The first gift is our best question prize. Please leave your question below the live video. Dr. Abra will answer your question and pick up the best one. The person who raised the best question will get three steps at Cipo and prize. And the second prize is our, we will choose the lucky person you need to come on on the video during the live, then you can have a chance to get our special gift. And today webinar, uh, the special gift is a uh, three sets at C point end of price. Okay, now is the time for Dr. Abra to begin this time course. Okay. Hello everybody. Uh, this is Dr. Uh, do you hear my sound? You hear my sound? Yes, I can hear oh, you. Oh, you hear my sound? Yes, I can hear you. Okay, excellent, excellent, excellent. Hello, everybody. Uh, I'm Dr. Abu Ubaida. Uh, I'm a dentist uh, from Iraq. I graduated from Baghdad University in 2004, and I finished my dental diploma in Cairo University in 2009. My major work is limited to microendodontics. Uh, today, I want to share with you a very important and interesting in endodontics, which is irrigation. Well, the success of the whole project of endodontics me on irrigation. Uh, as we know, we have a, a term in endo called cleaning and shaping. In fact, it's shaping for cleaning. We do shaping to achieve cleaning. So the major, the major concern as an endodontist is the irrigation. Let's go inside and see what is what I have for you in this lecture. First of all, I want to introduce this nice and great innovation from Coxo company. It will solve many, many problems in irrigation. We will talk about later on. It's called CRCC. In Indo, we need irrigation to wash up, to washing out body cavity or wound with water or medicated fluid. And of course, we need aspiration, which is the suction device. And you also need this irrigant solution to be disinfectant. 
objective of irrigation is mechanical, chemical, and biological. So any irrigant should achieve these objectives. No one irrigant can achieve all of these objectives. That's why we use more than one irrigant. We start with a mechanical objective, mechanical to flush out the debris, and the same time lubricant the canal. As we know, any irrigant can use as a flush, but not all irrigants have the lubricant uh, uh, property. Both flushing out debris and lubrication of the canal will achieve the following. Will achieve the mechanical effectiveness depend on the ability of irrigation to generate optimum streaming force within the entire root canal system. And then we have chemical objective, which is to dissolve organic and inorganic tissue and prevent formation of a smear layer during the experimentation or dissolve it once it has formed. So we need to dissolve organic and inorganic. Organic will be the emission of hypochlorite and inorganic will be the emission of the EDTA. And thus uh, prevent the formation of a smear layer during the instrumentation phase or dissolve it once it has formed. Sorry. By doing so, chemical effectiveness will depend on the concentration of the antimicrobial irrigant, the area of contact, and the duration of the interaction between the irrigant and infected material. The biological function of irrigants is related to their antimicrobial effects. So hy hypochlorate has antimicrobial effect, and the chlorhexidine also has antimicrobial effect. EDTI has not, normal saline has not. Efficiency of root canal irrigation depends on penetration depth of the needle and diameter of the root canal and inner and outer diameter of the needle and the irrigation pressure. If we talk about the irrigation pressure, this is major dilemma in, in endodontics in terms of irrigation. If we use excessive pressure, we might end up with the, uh, with the hypochlorite accidents. And uh, Coxo company uh, invented very nice tool for irrigation. Uh, it depends on passive irrigations, no pressure at all. It makes irrigation and suction at the same time. And also it makes warming for the hypochlorite. Type and orientation of the bevel of the needle. Uh, every needle should be should be should be closed at the tip, and there should be side vent at the side of the needle to prevent the extrusion of the hypochlorite and hence prevent the hypochlorite accident. We have many needles in the markets, like this one from Ultradent, and this is one from the PD Airy Flex needle. And also we have many types of uh, a syringe, disposable syringe used for irrigations. It starts from 1 mil, 3 mil, 5 mil, 10 mil, 20 mil, or 60 mil, and even 100 mil. The one are used for endodontics, the one for with the 5 mil or 3 mil. Personally, I prefer to use a 3 mil because I have little pressure, a pressure. But the problem with the 3 mil, it is the quantity is not that much. So you have to, min, to fill many 3 mil syringes at the same time. One more important thing to look and uh, and uh, watch the tip of the syringe the one you are you, you are using it in endodontics should have a look otherwise the needle may jump may jump out at any times and this is very serious uh, problem as it happens once or two in my career uh, i used uh, a needle uh, a syringe without a look so the needle jump out and the hypochlorite come to my face and to the patient face. It was a very bad experience. Remember, when you insert the needle inside the root canal, the needle should be loose. This is the way how to irrigate. Push and pull, push and pull. Never let a needle to engage inside the root canal. Otherwise, the irrigant will, will uh, go uh, outside the apical foramen and make the hypochlorite accident. So remember, the needle should be loose, and you should uh, use it with, uh, with push-pull motion. Benefit of using irrigant in root canal treatment. We use it for removal of particulate debris and wetting of the root canal walls, and also use it for destruction of microorganisms, 
and the solution of organic debris and opening of the internal tubules by removal of a smear layer. And this is very important. And this is the action of the EDTA or citric acid. This infection on the cleaning of areas inaccessible to endodontic instruments. As we know, the file will not touch all the root canal surface or all the root canal walls. Some areas the file cannot touch, like lateral canal, uh, like uh, loops, like uh, isthmus, like uh, bifid or trifid. These are all anatomies. Most common the file cannot be reached, this area, unless you have very high experience and skill to negotiate these tiny anatomies with the K-file, which is called the scouting. So the properties of ideal organ for root canal treatment, it should be effective germicide and fungicide. And this is can this is the function of the of the hypochlorite. Non irritating to the preapical tissue. Unfortunately, most of the irrigant solution are irritated to the preapical tissue. And that's why we need to be careful during irrigation. We need to remember that the needle should not bind to the canal wall. The needle should be loose all the time uh, with the push pull motion. We need to make the needle shorter than working it with two to three millimeters. We need to use side vented needle, not open from, from the top. And remain stable in solution. And that's why most of the irrigant solution comes in a closed container that does not allow the light or the sun, the light or even room light to go through the, 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 the container. Otherwise, uh, the, the hypochlorate or any other solution will lose its uh, function. Uh, and by the way, when we use irrigant, we need that irrigant to be fresh. So from the container, directly to the patient mouth, we should mouth. We should not leave the irrigant exposed to sunlight or room light all the day. And a prolonged antibacterial effect. Unfortunately, the only irrigant that has prolonged antibacterial effect is the chlorhexidine. Active in the presence of a blood serum and protein derivatives of tissue. And this is the action of the hypochlorite. Low surface tension. And that's why many, many com uh, companies that make irrigants, they compete with each other with adding surfactant. So someone asked, can I use the household bleach, the one that we use from, my, uh, uh, from the market? Yes, you can use it. But the things that is it favorable for the medical hypochlorite is the presence of this surfactant, which make the hypochlorite with low surface tension and can, and can enter through the internal tubules not interfere with the repair of pre apical tissue. And this is a very important during the region of the process. Uh, as we know, when we do revascularization or revitalization, we should give much attention that the irrigant solution will not cross the apical foramen and damage the stem cells which are present, which is, which are present there. So be careful when you are doing revitalization or revascularization or any region of the process as these Irritant, these irrigants are very irritants and may damage and destroy the stem cells. Not to stain tooth structure. And this is, should be much attention when we irrigate with hypochlorite and then chlorhexidine. We should separate between them normal saline. In fact, it is better to separate between any irrigants with normal saline or distal water, but especially with hypochlorite and chlorhexidine. Once, once it mixed together, it will very bad precipitate and will 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 stain the tooth or uh, tooth structure even the root canal system not induce cell maintain immune response able to completely remove the smear layer and this is the function of the ADTA or citric acid and able to disinfect the underlying dentine and tubules and this is the function of the hypochlorite and the chlorhexidine non antigenic non toxic non carcinogenic to tissue cells well, if hypochlorite, if hypochlorite and chlorhexidine mix together during irrigation, there will be a precipitate called parachloroquinone, uh, parachloroanilene, which, which is known to be carcinogenic for human beings. No adverse effect on the physical properties of exponent DNT. And this is very important. We should not expose the root canal uh, surface for prolonged time of hypochlorite. Prolonged time like two hours, three hours, and this may, may, may change the properties of the dentine. And it is better to spray between each irrigant with normal saline or distal water. Dissolution of organic debris, which is the function of hypochlorite. 
No adverse effect of ceiling ability of filling materials. Convenient application and relatively inexpensive. Okay. Why we should remove a smear layer? As we know, microorganisms in the dental tubules may use the smear layer as a substrate for sustained growth. So if we don't remove the smear layer, the microorganism would use this smear layer for growth. And if the smear layer is not removed, it may slowly disintegrate with a leaking obturating material, or it may be removed by acids and enzymes that are produced by viable bacteria left in the tubules, and that enter via coronal leakage. So if we don't smear, remove the smear layer, the enzymes or the acids produced by the bacteria that is still present in the root canal system may disintegrate the smear layer and use it as a substrate. And then this is will, will make a gaps between the filling material and the root canal system. The presence of a smear layer may also interfere with the action and the thickness of root canal organs. And that's why we need final irrigation protocol to, to remove the smear layer that produced during shaping. And afterward, we will let we will let the hypochlorite to get inside the intangibles and unreachable areas of root canal system. Removal smear layer adapt filling material better to the canal wall. If we don't remove smear layer, uh, the filling material might not be adapted very well to the canal system. And this is controversial. And this is not the time for to talk about this controversy. Removal of a smear layer enhance the adhesion of sealer to dentine and tubular penetration. And last, Removal of smell layer reduce both coronal and apical leakage. Now let's talk about the irrigant used in hypochlorite and in, in, in root canal uh, irrigation. We have sodium hypochlorite, we have EDTA, we have chlorhexidine, and we have normal saline. If we start with the sodium hypochlorite, which is called householder bleach, as I mentioned before, you can choose the medical one or you can buy the one from, from the market. Personally, I don't care. I usually buy it directly from the market with a concentration 5.25%. This, this is the amount of hypochlorite usually I use for the, uh, for the would be, which could be a little bit uh, let, let, uh, uh, lower than this uh, amount, but generally this is almost the, the amount I use for irrigation of uh, uh, molar tooth, whether it is upper or lower molar. I, I like to use hypochlorite as much as I can. Elegant of choice. Mechanical flushing of the breeze from the canal. Dissolve vital and necrotic tissue. No effect on any uh, on inorganic tissue. And this is what that's why we need to use EDTA. Toxic caustic effect on preapical tissue. Much attention should be given when we are doing revitalization or revascularization, as this elegant, I mean hypochlorite will damage the stem cells on the apical tissue. And also one should give attention that the hypochlorite, once it causes the apical foramen with forceful injection, it may cause hypochlorite accident. It weakens in contact with other materials, antimicrobials, lubricant. And this is very important. We should not introduce any uh, uh, rotary or manual file inside the canal if the canal was not lubricated even with uh, any lubricant like uh, EDTA cream or even hypochlorite accident. Personally, when I use manual file, I, I like to use the EDTA cream. But when I introduce rotary file inside the canal, I like the canal to have only hypochlorite. And last, it is inexpensive and available, very cheap. The concentration are used in dentistry, as textbook says, for example, Mahmoud Tarabin Jai says, it, the range is, uh, uh, started from 0.5% to 5.25%. Personally, the only concentration I use is 5.25%. I would use lower concentration if I have direct pulp capping or I need it for uh, a regenerative process. Also, the regenerative process, it is controversial. There is a controversial, uh, 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 um, controversial thoughts and opinion about the concentration used for regenerative process. The efficiency of hypochlorite can be increased when we increase the concentration. If you if you are if you want to use low concentration, you can use it. But remember, you need to increase the volume and you need to increase the time. Volume and then warming. If we warm or heat the hypochlorite, the the action of the hypochlorite will increase too much, 
I have heard some studies says that hypochlorite can reach 400% of its efficiency if we warming to 200%. I'm not quite sure about this study, but I have read it before. Okay, so to increase the efficiency, we need to increase the concentration, the volume, and the warming or heating. By the way, uh, the only unreliable means to heat the hypochlorite is to heat it inside the root canal. Other claims we can uh, heat it outside the root canal, but this is not efficient. And once the hypochlorite will reach the root canal, it will be buffered. So this is a video made by my friend, Dr. Mohammed al kuzwini who show us the difference when you are using 2% hypochlorite and when and you're using 5.25% uh, 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 hypochlorite. As you can see, with the concentration 5.25%, the, uh, the pulp tissue is almost disappeared. While in 2%, we still have, we still have the pulp tissue, half the pulp tissue. So at the minute of four, almost the pulp tissue within the hypochlorite, the concentrated hypochlorite disappeared, while the one with the 2% uh, concentration is still. And you can see, you can see after nine minutes, still the, hypo, the pulp tissue in concentration 2% hypochlorite is still present. And that's why it is preferable to use concentrated hypochlorite. But if you are willing to use uh, diluted hypochlorite, you can use it. But remember, you need to increase the time and increase the volume. About heating the hypochlorite, as you can see this diagram, the efficiency of hypochlorite will be increased once we heat the hypochlorite. The major dilemma with the using hypochlorite irrigant is the hypochlorite accident. Well, if you don't have such experience, I can tell you you did not practice indoor. I can tell most or almost, almost any indoor don't have done this before. But with experience, with experience, once should avoid this in the future. Uh, sorry, once should avoid this in his clinic. The good thing, but before talking about the, 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 the new tool of COXO, let's give you some advices and some tips how to avoid hypochlorite accident. As I mentioned before, the irrigating needle must be pla placed loosely in the canal. Don't let the needle to be binding inside the root canal. Always the needle should be loose inside the canal. Second, once you feel that the needle is binding to the root canal system, please withdraw the needle. Third, Special care in canal with open apex. And fourth, to avoid such thing, you can you can place a stopper inside the needle and put it two to three millimeter shorter than the, the working length. As you can see here, the needle is shorter two to three millimeter than the working length. Now, Coxo company proudly innovate this nice tool or machine. It is has multifunction. It irrigate at the same time. It irrigate and it suck, and then it even heat the hypochlorite. I like it so much, and I still use it in my clinic. But it needs a little bit uh, modification to overcome some difficulties with the using it. But I think the future is for this device. Very comfortable and very nice, and you don't need to care about the hypochlorite accident, and even you don't need a suction system inside your clinic. It irrigates. It sucks in the same times and it hit the hypochlorite at the same time. Soon will be available in the market. Let's give you some, some tips about this device.
This is the bottle are used for, for irrigating. You can put the hypochlorite inside this bottle. Till the health. And that's simply, you can connect it to the to device. And this is the handpiece. You, you remove the ring. And you insert tip A. Like this way. Very simple. As you see, it has multi-function. We have irrigation button, we have suction button, and we have simultaneous button. Irrigation and suction at the same time. And we can accelerate the mode. Short press and start will activate the handpiece. So during the mechanical preparation, we use tip A. This is irrigation and suction at the same time and even heating. So you can see, you don't need suction from your suction of the, of the dental unit. The device has built-in suction system. After I finish the shaping procedures, I will change the tip to the tip B. Insert the ring, suction, and, and you can increase the, the time. You can use 30 seconds, 60 seconds, 90 seconds, and 120 seconds. A drying, after you finish, you can dry it. Simply push on the red button, insert the needle inside the tooth, the root canal, and it will suck all the hypochlorite. You might only need one or two paper points. Let's sit on this model. Hello, and welcome to this video demonstration of CRCC irrigator by Coxo. Here you can see how the pulp tissue will be dissolved by hypochlorite. If you look at the crown, no hypochlorite is coming out from the, uh, from the tooth structure. As, as, as I mentioned before, it is a continuous flow of the, the tool has irrigating and suction system at the same time. What you can watch here is now, we have used a pulp replica and it has been packed into this complex anatomy. The tip A, which is meant for Evacuation of macro debris with a wide board evacuation medium. What you can watch now is when it is activated in a multifunctional mode, wherein it, irrigation and evacuation happens okay. simultaneously. So it irrigate and suck at the same time, and it hit the hypochlorite at the same time. Okay. I will accelerate the video and show you how the irrigant will reach even to the unreachable area, like this isthmus. How the hypochlorite reach the isthmus area and even to the apical area. The good thing is to always give you fresh hypochlorite with heated hypochlorite. There is no positive pressure during irrigation. So one should not be afraid of hypochlorite accident. Okay, I will share this video on my account once I finish this webinar. Okay, this is, this is in, 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 uh, in vivo. This video is to demonstrate how to use root canal irrigation and suction system CRC. This video is done by Dr. Mandar. It's always advisable to clean the access cavity by pouring sodium hypochlorite. Since this is an automated irrigation and evacuation of suction. You can see it irrigates. It has got dual mode. And it sucks at the same time. And suction. It has got only irrigation mode 
and also it has got only suction for evacuation. So you can use it as so irrigating or suction or both together. This cavity in a multifunctional mode where one tip irrigates and the other tip evacuates from the prepared axis. Okay. Now let's talk about EDTA. Okay. To do right, uh, correct endo uh, procedures or irrigation procedures, you should also use EDTA, EDTA or citric acid. You cannot do endo only with hypochlorite. As I mentioned before, this once you introduce the file, the file will cut from the dentine wall, and the dentine, the cutting will leave a smear layer, and this smear layer will stick to the, the to the dentinal wall, and the bacteria will hide behind the smear layer. So if you don't remove the smear layer, the bacteria will stay inside the root canal system. Unfortunately, hypochlorite cannot do this mission. That's why we need another irrigating solution, which is EDTA. EDTA is ethylene diamine tetraacetic acid. The concentration we use in density in Indo is 17%. The major function or the main function of the, of the EDTA is removal of smear layer in organic component. It does not kill bacteria does not dissolve soft tissue vital or necrotic this is the function of hypochlorite but the problem with the edta may erode dentine with longer time exposure so one should be very careful not to make the edta stay too long within the root canal system i have heard many times for calcified canal we can manage it with the leaving edta inside the root canal this is totally wrong edta should not be left inside the root canal once we irrigate with the edta it should be flushed it should be flushed. It should not stay too long inside the root canal. The, the, the best time for EDTA is one minute. And irrigation for one minute followed by final rinse with hypochlorite. Well, it is better to separate between the EDTA and hypochlorite with normal saline as the EDTA will lessen the effect of the active chlorine in the hypochlorite. So once you irrigate with the EDTA, it will remove the small smear layer. A flush out the EDTA with normal sign of distilled water and then use hypochlorite. And this is the better. You can use hypochlorite without separate them, but this is will lessen the effect of hypochlorite. Citric acid is effective for removing the smell layer. So citric acid is almost the same as EDTA. As you can see, this is with electron microscope. You can see how the smear layer are blocking the dentinal tubules. The A, the A, the A photo is talking is the smear layer blocking all the tiny views the b photo after watching the uh, root canal system with the edta as you can see we opened all the tiny views this is the magnifying as you can see before using edta and after using the edta we opened all the tiny views now time for hypochlorite to go inside the dentine views and reach unreachable area of the root canal system chlorhexidine chlorhexidine it is controversial whether it has real effect on uh, bacteria that cannot hypochlorite achieve or not. Some, uh, some, some, uh, some articles, some uh, authors uh, advocate to use chlorhexidine in necrotic, uh, necrotic cases. You can use it. It's not a big deal. But, uh, but remember, do not mix chlorhexidine with the hypochlorite. Always separate between them with... Uh, with a normal saline or distilled water. This is the chlorhexidine. It has a broad spectrum of antimicrobial activity with sustained release. Sustained release means after we irrigate the, hypo, the, the canal with the chlorhexidine and after we dry it, the irrigant will stay work inside the root canal. It has little toxicity compared to hypochlorite. A chlorhexidine 2% has antimicrobial action similar to 5.2. 25%. So once one will ask if it has the same antimicrobial action as the hypochlorite, why not we use it instead of hypochlorite? Well, you can use it, but the problem is who will dissolve the, the organic tissue, the vital or necrotic tissue? Remember, we use hypochlorite for this function, for this action. I have heard a few months ago that one of the companies claims that will use one irrigant and will cover from book to book from from cover to cover, sorry, from cover to cover, all the properties of hype of the irrigant solution. In fact, there, we do not have any irrigant solution till today that can dissolve organic tissue. Only hypochlorite. 
So if chlorox D will dissolve the high, the organic tissue, we would use it instead of hypochlorite. But unfortunately, this is the only function of the hypochlorite. A more effective against enterococcus fecalis, E. fecalis. And that's why we use chlorhexidine. This bacteria was found during fighting cases, persistent infection, and after retreatment. So if you are willing to use chlorhexidine, and my advice for you is to use it for the failing cases for the persistent infection, I mean with the periapical lesion, and even with the cases of retreatment. As I mentioned before, it has, it is unable to disturb necrotic tissue and remove the smear layer. So it cannot remove organic tissue and even inorganic tissue. It has only antibacterial action. Remember, if you, by mistake, mixed chlorhexidine and hypochlorite, we will have a very annoying precipitate. It's called parachloroanilin. This, this compound is cytotoxic in rats and carcinogenic in humans. I want to show you this video. What will happen if we mix, mix hypochlorite with the chlorhexidine? The one in the bottle was hypochlorite, and we just throw a few drops of chlorhexidine over the hypochlorite. And you can see what happened. It will change like to orange, uh, sorry, to tomato juice. And this is a very sticky compound. It will stick, stick to the root canal system, and it will be very hard to remove it. So what we do, what we do to remove this Remove this uh, compound, this precipitate if it happens. It, it, sometimes it happens. What we do, you can use you can use alcohol, but alcohol would give would take longer time. The best solution for this is to use the uh, uh, to use uh, Ergan solution of, from Circamids. It's called Canalclean. I forget to insert the photo. Canalclean. It can remove this precipitate within a few seconds. Normal saline, we need normal saline in many times. Let's talk about the normal saline. We need normal saline to spread between the irrigants. We need normal saline after shaping procedures, but it should be cold. If you are using normal saline after shaping procedures, cold normal saline, between, uh, a temperature between 2 to 4 Celsius, uh, it will, it will uh, lessen the post-operative pain. If you are having hypochlorite accident, you need to do, use very cold normal saline. So normal saline is, is an important elegant solution in Indo. But remember, alone, it has no antibacterial effect. It has no inorganic, uh, it, has, it cannot dissolve organic tissue. It cannot dissolve inorganic tissue. Uh, but as I mentioned, you can use it uh, to lessen the post-operative pain, the cold normal saline. You can use it for hypochlorite accident and you can use it to separate between the ergant solution. What does not work for, for endo? What, what uh, irrigant solution that cannot, uh, sorry, what solutions that cannot be used for endo irrigation? Normal saline, aesthetic solution inside the carpools, sterile water. And if we you are using hypochlorant and mix it with the hydrogen peroxide, this together, uh, this, uh, I mean, if you mixing hypochlorite with hydrogen peroxide, uh, the hydrogen peroxide will buffer the hypochlorite, and you cannot make use it of uh, make use of hypochlorite solution. Remember, don't let the hypochlorite or even the EDTA to stay too long inside the root canal. The major concern is the EDTA. You can leave hypochlorite like for an hour, as I as I uh, as I think. But leaving EDTI too long inside the root canal will destroy the dentine wall. Okay, before I finish this lecture, I want to share with you my final irrigation protocol. If my uh, followers and my colleagues are watching my, me on my Facebook account, uh, the cases I share, most of the cases I share, it has it has lateral canal, has uh, it has uh, many anatomies, 
And this is not because I'm experienced or skilled in doing this. The secret behind this is the my final irrigation protocol I use every day in my dental clinic. Here what I use. Once I finish shaping and I'm ready for obturation, I start my final irrigation protocol. I start with the ADTA solution. I inject two to three cc or three, two to three mil inside the root canal. And then I activate it. And you can activate with whatever with whatever device you have. You can use you can activate it with the with the with the master con uh, uh, get a perka. Hundred times push pull can do it. It's better than nothing. You can use sonic a subsonic activator like uh, indo activator. And you can use sonic activator like VD ED tip from ED VDW. Or you can use uh, ultrasonic activator like the one we use uh, ultra smart from coxo do it for for 30 seconds to one minute better it is better to separate and wash the edta with normal saline or distal water as i mentioned before the edta will lessen the active chlorine in hypochlorite but you can use hypochlorite directly but increase the quantity okay and then i inject three mil of hypochlorite inside the canal. Now time for heating. With the same tip that I'm using for cutting the gutta perca, I introduce it inside the canal, uh, away from the apical tissue, four to five millim, and I start to heat the hypochlorite inside the canal uh, till 200 uh, uh, Celsius uh, for one to two seconds. Uh, a professor, Alfredo Lilandlo, says, you can uh, heat the hypochlorite inside the root canal for eight seconds. I'm not using this, I'm not following this protocol. I'm afraid of overheating the hypochlorite and damaging the periodontal ligament. Although Professor Alfredo says it is safe. So you can use whatever you want. Uh, you can choose whatever protocol you want. Personally, I only, for one to two seconds, I heating the hypochlorite. And then I, after I heat it, I, do passive irrigation, uh, 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 passive ultrasonic irrigation. I activated the hypochlorite with the ultra smart device. And then you can repeat this step two, three, four, till 10 times. Not a big, not a big issue. If you have a time, repeat the hypochlorite heating and activation till 10 times. You will have more anatomy. You will see more anatomy. And then, as I said, heating, activation, and normal sign. For necrotic cases, for persistent infection, for retreatment cases, you can use chlorhexidine 2%. Remember, this is used for irrigation, nor for mouthwash. The, the one is with the mouthwash is very diluted. Again, ADTA, Primal, activate. For 30 seconds or till 60 seconds, you can flush it with normal saline or distilled water, or you can use hypochlorite directly. One stated hypochlorite, heat it one to two seconds. You can choose, you can heat it till eight seconds, as Professor Alfredo say. And then activation again, repeat the step, heat. Activate it for 30 to 60 seconds. Flush all that with normal saline. Preferable to be cold normal saline. And then chlorhexidine if you have necrotic case or retreatment case or fighting or fighting cases. Or resistant infection. Now, finally, I want to uh, share with you this nice study that, done by Professor uh, Alfredo Leandro Ital which is a very recent study in 2021. There was a conversion between different uh, activation uh, protocols. Uh, syringe and needle, subsonic activation like uh, indo activator from the supply, and sonic activation like uh, ED tip from VDW, heating followed by sonic activation and ultrasonic activation, and then heating followed by ultrasonic activation. The best 
the best study was the best the best thing was the heating hypochlorite and then ultrasonic activation the less was syringe and needle so the results was syringe and needle group showed the lower value of pulp tissue dissolution when compared to all test groups subsonic showed lower group tissue dissolution when compared to sonic and ultrasonic irrigation a procedure no difference were observed not that difference observed between sonic and ultrasonic group pulp tissue dissolution was significantly higher when heating was followed by sonic or ultrasonic activation compared to sonic and ultrasonic group so the conclusion is is the better way to get maximum results and find and discover more anatomy is to heat hypochlorite and do sonic or ultrasonic activation finally i want to show you some of my cases i use for the video before i used to start with the hypochlorite than edti but after the ad advice from professor alifaydo he advised me to start with the edti to smear layer, layer to remove the smear layer and get a room and space for the hypochlorite to go inside these anatomies Now I'm hitting the hypochlorite. As you can see. And then. And that's activating the hypochlorite. One can see how the, the color of the hypochloride will be changed to turbid color. And this is the acti this is mean the activation is done successfully. Repeat the step again. Fresh hypochlorite. This is my all the protocol. Nowadays, nowadays I start with with EDTA and then hypochlorite heating and activation. Again, I want to show you some of my cases with this protocol. See lateral anatomy everywhere. Isthmus, anastomosis, lateral canal, lateral canals everywhere, lateral canals, lateral can siplets, bifid, lateral canal, calcisac, and so on. So thank you so much. Thank you so much for watching me. I'm done and I'm ready to answer. Any question? Okay. Does anybody has any question? Let me watch the. Uh... Okay. Thank you, Doctor Abbas. So wonderful speech. Anybody has any question? Okay. Does anybody has any question? Let me watch the. Uh... Okay, okay. Let's, let's see the first let's see the first question. Can we leave sodium hypochlorite inside canal between visits for more disinfection? No. This is not a good idea. This is will this is will affect the the uh, the properties of the dentine. Please don't do it. Okay. How much is the optimum total amount and time of irrigation required for each root canal? Well, you cannot say, you cannot say, but my advice for you, my advice for you is to give a time between 20 to 40 minutes 
for irrigation. That means the irrigant solution will stay inside the canal between 20 to 40 minutes. Personally, after each file introduced inside the canal, I wash the canal, I flush the canal with two to three mils of hypochlorite. Okay. According to the latest articles, chlorhexidine with N is very effective against the persistent bacteria. You mean mixing chlorhexidine with hypochlorite or you separate with them with normal saline? If you separate, yes, but it is controversial. This is only stale articles. If you go to Mahmoud Turabinjad, Okay, sorry, maybe the harbor internet is not good now. Okay, let us choose the lucky person. Let us choose the lucky person who joined our course and come on the video link. Okay, one, Okay, congratulations. The lucky person get our SC port prize, she says. We will contact you soon. And very thank you very much for watching this webinar. And thank you, Dr. Arbor, this time. I have added a link for certificate on the comment. So if then his friend who joined this call need the certificate, please fill this phone information. Then we will supply for you soon. This link need to fill within five minutes five hours after the course and thank you very much to join this time course of free public webinar hope to see you all again next week have a nice day goodbye